Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to go through some ways to use the color jitter shader to randomly change the hue and saturation of these crayon objects. So under the base color, create a color jitter shader there. Make sure the type is set to object and change the input color. Now when we increase the hue max, you should notice randomly changes the colors. Closer to zero, you see it's closer to red. But what if we want to have random hues of maybe just red and blue? Well, we can use a ramp to do that. So let's just connect the color to connect ramp RGB to the base color. And then I'm going to connect the out color blue, the color jitter to the input of the ramp. And I've got to make sure the type is set to custom for the ramp. Okay, so now you can see that the ramp's colors are being affected by the color jitter. So I bring that back down to zero, it's just black. So I can change these colors in the ramp, really red here, blue here. And you notice we're getting hues in between the two. Maybe I want to add some white in there as well. Okay, so that's one way to use the ramp and the color to give more control. I've got another scene here using the same shading network, the ramp going into the emission color of a sander surface and the color just uh, going into the input of the ramp. We've also got an input type parameter for the color jitter, which you can connect a texture or again another ramp. You can get some interesting motion graphic type effects doing this way. We change the type to something like circle or radial. And when we change parameters of the color jitter, we can also keyframe these, maybe change the seed to create some cool effects. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.